Next on the list, I want to quickly update regarding the whole <clears throat> Young Fella and Gunner and YSL Rico. Man, it's been really sad to see these pictures of Gunner on the internet, these mugshots. Obviously, his mugshot's been released. That was the first thing. This is courtesy of Michael Seedon. It says, Breaking rapper Gunner Sojo Kitchens has surrendered to authorities in Fulton County. He is charged with conspiracy to violate the racketeering influence and corruption, um, sorry, and corrupt um, organizations act, aka Rico. And obviously he looks incredibly pissed off in this in this uh, mugshot. There is no smiling or trolling for the internet. That is somebody that's really annoyed that the system has got him hemmed up like this. But this isn't the the worst. The worst picture is this one. This picture's been leaked of um Ghana looks like he's in court, maybe he's at his hearing or something. It's an image clearly taken from the live stream of them in court or something, and he legitimately looks like he's been crying all night. His face is incredibly puffy somewhat so much so uh, more so um, in comparison to this picture here he doesn't look as um, stoic or as um, saintly looking as um, young fug did when he was at his hearing he definitely looks like somebody who is finally the reality of the situation is finally maybe hitting home because i'd imagine at this hearing as well um, his bond was denied so um, i think a lot of people were speculating online that because Gunner's charges weren't as serious as the other people who were indicted the 28 people on there that most likely he would get let go because I think his indictment was basically that he was associated with YSL and that he threw up some gang signs and had some chains that he was wearing that had their moniker on it but it was nothing to do with actually committing a crime against anybody right or selling drugs or anything of that ilk and loads of people online loads of sort of you know um, experts sort of in that field kind of hypothesized or guessed that maybe he would be released he'd be one of the first to go out on bail but it looks like this rico they're trying to send a message um and they basically denied him his bail and i'm assuming he probably was made aware of that before the hearing um but yeah he definitely looks like somebody has been sobbing and crying all night in his cell and it sure must be a mad reality to kind of be going through right because he legitimately is a pop star gunner now he outsold the weekend right on the same release day he outsold the weekend by i think fifty thousand units or something pretty crazy like first week sales he clearly has crossed over in the point where i think it happened to little baby too the same way i don't think we actually knew little baby crossed over until the numbers started looking crazy we didn't actually there was never a moment where it suddenly went from gonna be in the person everyone everyone in the quote-unquote streets loves to suddenly kind of being somebody that people on daytime television know who he is and um, he obviously kind of leaned into the meme especially how, how he dresses and all that stuff and all the things that he says and uh, obviously the pushing p stuff for the last album was flipping genius and then i think the last bit of content i saw from him was this amazing um activation that he did with um, emilio pucci where he flew over to italy and he was doing this thing where he was on a boat in Venice and he was hanging out with models and trying on cool clothes and beating a drum, a tambourine thing on some, at some dinner table. He was at, like, he was living life. You're like, okay, cool. And it was like he was out there on his own. So he clearly just went there with his assistant and manager or something and just enjoyed and picked up a nice healthy bag, got decked in some great pieces of clothing got exposed to obviously the European market maybe there was an opportunity there or maybe there was conversations while she was out there discussing a European tour whatever it was clearly a moment where you could see oh this man is clearly in his element he's loving life he's kind of on his way to reaching the next level that he wants to get in his career credit to him so it's always awesome to see somebody that you listen to on mixtapes suddenly living that sort of life and then bang in a blink of an eyelid it all gets taken away and now you're looking at some serious time in prison or just a prolonged time sitting down because i'd imagine part of the issue with being in jail is you know of course it's hell on earth don't get me wrong but in this case when you're somebody of some sort of notoriety it's the unknown right because obviously everyone around you and your team is going to want you to be is going to try and be optimistic about a situation because they basically rely on you for a paycheck so they're not going to give you the real and you obviously are in such in such a um, you're in such disbelief at where you're at right now given where you were at the day before and whose guts you were swimming in that most likely you'll probably try and convince yourself also that things are going to be okay but you don't know 
So I would imagine the unknown is probably worse than just getting a sentence because a sentence obviously is brutal still. Getting told you have 60 months, you know, five years, whatever it may be, it's going to be harsh. But knowing that you've got that time, it's just a process just kind of ticking off the days. You know, it's hard, don't get me wrong, but it's still, you know where the finishing line is going to be. But sitting down like this in a jail, not knowing what's what's coming your way, what evidence the police actually have, what other trump cards they're going to pull out from their back pocket. Um, have your co-defendant snitched already on you? Should you be talking yourself to save your career? Who's looking after your mom? Who's looking after this? Who's looking after that? So many things racing through your head. So it's no surprise that he was probably sobbing. And again, this man's a legit multi-millionaire off of the back of saying pushing P and one flow and shit. Do you know what I mean? That he's living a good life. So to go from that to sitting in a cell where he didn't really expect it either. Harsh, 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 harsh stuff. So um, yeah, thoughts go out to Gunner and those man. It must be a mad situation to be in. I couldn't imagine anything worse personally. But also this might serve as a as a reminder or as a kind of wake up call for some of the goon kids out there like as as fun and as cool as it is to be associated with a gang come up as a rapper because you know the ties to the streets that rap has and hip-hop has are just undeniable and there's something that no one can break it just is what it is the real downside of it is that the consequences are grave it's either you end up in a grave or you end up getting locked up for a prolonged period of time and sometimes oftentimes it's time that you probably can't afford to lose you're not going to ever come back with the same amount of buzz look at bobby schmurder right he's got a lot of goodwill around him because he generally seems like a decent human but because he got locked up at the time he got locked up in and life has basically moved on he's kind of had to reinvent himself he hasn't just come back in and just started doing music and people cared he's kind of had to make people care about him through his personality which he's doing a great job at but it's not as if when he came out the world was the same again he had to pick it up and kind of start again, you know, from scratch, basically. And it feels like, you know, those guys, Young young Fug and Gunner, especially those two, had built up such a good head, head of steam. They were going to such good directions. They were getting such favorable reviews and, you know, feedback and stuff. And things were going well that you just feel like if they do have to sit down, it might really derail their career to a point where, you know, it might not be what it once was ever again, which is a real shame considering both of them are super talented and people that I listen to on a regular. So yeah, hold your head up, Gunner. Hold your head up.